John Shabir, Mr. J Cam, baby. We just out riding today. With everything going on with the quarantine, man. I'm just gonna turn the camera on and ride. I'm still trying to get used to these uh, Michelin Power 5 tires that's on the bike. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this whole length of this route today for a change. Instead of just part time. What's up, bro? Hey! If you've been on my channel, you've seen this route, so I gotta cut it down here for sure. It's always loose gravel and something around this corner. So we're gonna go and cut it down and make sure we can get this, see? Make sure we can get through here cleanly. We're gonna get it, we're gonna get it cranked up and have some fun in a minute. Got my suit on, it's still pretty new. But I'm working on my body position and uh you know moving around on the bike. Get used to it. it Make a big difference when you got a tire that you got confidence in. And when I press the handlebar now, I know she's gonna tip, she's gonna go. No sliding and none of that. Man, I got the biggest bug just now right in my eye line. See if I can't knock it off. Yes. Oh, I gotta stop. I got loud right there. Damn it. It's all good though. We'll get it later. I'll get to hit it again. We gotta fix these patches. I don't like going on these in the, in the corner. Try and thread the needle inside the uh, yellow line. But you ain't got no margins for error. One thing about the damn Corona, they doing construction everywhere. I should have had the camera running the other day, but of course I didn't. <laughs> What's up, buddy? <laughs> I don't give But we about to get these power fives and run, baby, and see what they talking about. So let's get it, baby. Mugs that's sticking to the road. It's like press the handlebars and go. Yeah, it's been a while, man. Not a lot of this going on during the quarantine. The world has changed quite a bit for all of us. Had plans and much like every other person in the world, been affected by COVID. And as you can see, it, that's looking at that flag, it's pretty windy today. But I'm still getting out here on the bike and enjoying it. Enjoying it quite a lot, to be honest. Like, you just push the handlebar and the Michelin stick. Like, it's there, and it's just begging to go. But the Power 5 is the only thing that's new. I kind of talked about it in my last video, but I didn't have all of it done. Um, I've been back to my good folks over at uh, Motorbike Works to Dallas. You know how to find them on Instagram or on their website, which will link in the description. And I'll have a pop-up with that exact name on the screen for you. I've installed the uh, Brembo RTS 19 master cylinder on this R1. Vortex uh, zero degree clip-ons. Vortex zero degree clip ones and rear sets. So I'm getting used to the ergonomics. Still think I need to make some changes. Like when I'm in the tuck, it's kind of hard to roll my hand to get full throttle, etc. Stuff like that. So we're just working on the small kinks. But we're gonna get it there. And then one of those corners is then trying to transition. I missed my spot with my foot. I'm one of the right-handers. 
I was hanging on with deer lights. <laughs> I don't know if it came across on camera. I have to go back and check it, but I was struggling for sure. A nice little trike, all right. Well, man, the turn in is faster than the grip stones. The grip, the tires are newer. But even when the slick stones are new, they didn't perform this well. On the way down here, <laughs> I got a light in this corner up here going to the left. I got the orange light flashing. I don't know if that was slide or traction control. I didn't feel anything though. Like it intervened like in a, the most non-intrusive way that it could possibly have intervened. I'm really enjoying the uh, Power Fives, man. It's easy to get them worked over. They grip right out of the box. I mean, it's nothing to complain about really. The new master cylinder is awesome, like, watch this. As long as you got heat in it, just, boom, fistful of brake. Like, I'm coming up, almost ready to go over the handlebars like it's a dirt bike. Like, you can get some, uh, you got some stopping power on these things now. Which was a much needed upgrade, to be honest. I also put the, uh, race pads on so I'm so that definitely helped as well but you just gotta make sure you heat them up get some heat in them so when you pull it they're gonna be there for you you're not really supposed to use them on the street but so far no issues except maybe early on <laughs> I squeezed them once it was a little chilly and hardly anything happened that was a uh, not ideal but the uh domino grips are awesome um my arms don't hardly really feel any vibrations there's great feedback to my hands about what the front wheel is doing and like i said the ergonomics like between the rear sides at my height i'm six four so i'm still trying to get everything dialed in but i have to make a rotate my throttle hand forward a little bit because I wasn't getting it all the way back to full throttle. I didn't realize that I was cheating myself a little bit. But I ran with a guy on an S1000 double R. I know they're fast, but I was getting walked way more than I thought I should be getting walked. Ah, damn, they ruined it. I was going to get it, but it got ruined there. So far, the Power Fives are excellent choice of tire, boys and girls. Hopefully, I'll get them on the track soon. And I'm going to do it. No warmers, nothing. I'm going to go for it. It's your boy. It's your JK, baby. Peace.